welcome to my channel y'all so this is a story time on why i quit my job y'all so many people ask me this and i understand why because it's it like i'm not the type of person that goes from job to job y'all i have been working at this job since like what i think like seven eight years 2012 so so you guys, y'all want a video on why I quit my job, you guys. Because I wanted to work for myself, though. But anyways, you guys, everyone I run into, they always question me. I haven't seen you at work. Or, girl, where you work at now? Or, you know, y'all, they be trying to be nosy. But, and they always, you know, when I tell them I quit, or I don't work there anymore, they always want to ask why. Why did I quit my job? Or why, why, why? Everyone want to know why. People think it's fitness. It wasn't fitness. People think it was real estate. It wasn't real estate. People think, y'all, it was. People think it was. I don't know what else somebody did me and said. People think it was another coordinated work I got into. It with. Like, y'all, like, people be making some shit up. But, um, y'all. The real answer is because um, one of my biggest problems was I was not getting enough time for, I guess I would say my family, you know. So, like, during this COVID time, y'all, my eyes have opened my eyes. Like, I don't know it's because during this COVID period, I turned 30 and I just look at things so much different or... I got mature or COVID scared the shit out of me. Like, I don't know. Like, if you ain't trying to do better, what the fuck are you doing anyways? But, yeah, I just, you know, I, I wasn't spending that time with my family. You know, that's one of the main, you know, reasons why I quit my job. But I said story time, so I'm going to give y'all how it went. <laughs> okay, y'all, so. So, you guys, back in, I want to say, the summertime of this year. So, I'm going to say June, July, 2021. So, y'all, I purchased um, some real estate. I'm going to say since COVID, you know, I just opened my eyes and I decided that if I wanted to get that time with my family there, I would have to put my money towards something that's going to make me money. And that's just basically it, you know. We, 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 you got to look at these warehouses. Who in the motherfuckers? It's blacks, y'all. We picking cotton. I wasn't going to be picking no motherfucking cotton no more. And they just did on me. You know what I'm saying? It's so many of us that rent. Who are you renting to? You know what I mean? You know, who are you renting from? I'm sorry. Who are you renting from? I wanted to be one of the ones that, you know, you was renting from. So, um. I just decided that I was going to jump into real estate. You know what I'm saying? That was one of the ding, 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 ringing. I had, you know, the perfect, thank God, you know, and I'm very, very blessed that I have a um, family that's into real estate really, really heavy. And I know that this family member will teach me everything. You know what I'm saying? With no problem. So, you know, I'm saying this family member because... I don't know y'all like that. I don't want y'all in my... But I'm just playing. I'm saying it because I don't know if this person wants to be disclosed. But you guys, I have a family member. And this family member was willing to mentor me as long as I was willing to give some time. I was just going to their office every Wednesday. Because um, they had their own office. Heavy in the real estate. So I was going to their office every Wednesday doing this job doing bids for them because i learned how to get on this website i learned how to do contracts i learned i mean you know get contracts i learned how to um bid and win so i was gonna do this bid and win these properties for them to keep one 100 you keep as long as you mentor me you know what i'm saying because it was something i was really serious about like i knew that i had to put in some time so you know being that i wanted to also help like be in the fitness world like i'm not gonna say personally trained but like be in the fitness world i at this time i was training maybe two or three ladies and i also had this property that i had purchased 
know what I'm saying? That's when I purchased the property in the summertime. So I started getting the land for them. Once I found my own, it was time for me to get mentored. You guys, every time it's time for me to go to work, that's when it's time for some something's going on with this property. You know what I'm saying? Um, MLGW over there. I got to go to work. You know what I'm saying? Um, this going on. It's a leak. I got to go to work. It's going on. That's going on. I got to go to work. Every It always seemed like, damn, every time I'm trying to get a move on this, I had to go to work. You know what I'm saying? So I had to choose. Like, I didn't choose training because training, I don't make no fucking money from that, you know? Y'all, like, bitches be cheap. Bitches be wanting their body nice, but they be cheap as fuck. So training, I do that because I love that, y'all. I love to train women. You know, I make a little money from that, but, like, not much. Like, it's enough to pay maybe two phone bills. Like, an AT&T, four, five hundred dollar AT&T phone bill. That's what it's enough to pay. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't make anything from training. I do it because I love it. Um, But, y'all, it was like we had put, like, we got the, y'all, we got the duplex for still. 25K in a, in, in a zip code that was rising, like, skyrocketing. Y'all, as I start learning about this land and start getting this land for this person, I also started, you know, taking my money. Y'all, because you got to think, if you work um, at an Amazon, at a Nike, at any type of warehouse, y'all, we making a lot of fucking money. Y'all, we making a lot of fucking money. So, like, when COVID hit, y'all, me and my husband, like, our bills, like, we got our bills so small years ago to, like, his checks can pay the bills and we could still live off his checks. And then, like, we was putting one whole check up, like, racking up, racking up, racking up, racking up, racking up. So, while we was doing that, we end up finding a property. We end up saving enough money to actually live off of for a year. Saving up the like with buying shoes because our son was about to start school, so it was it, we was scared. We was like, we cannot ha not have him decent. We got to make sure he. So we was like, we're gonna save up to live off of you know potentially for a year. So we was racking up, not buying none of that bullshit, y'all. Like I was gonna invest this money into me not coming in and clocking in for nobody else. Me spending Christmas with my fucking family. Me spend, spending Thanksgiving with my family. I was going to put my money into me being fucking free. So, this is how my schedule was. My schedule was, I get off work at 3.30 in the morning. I get home. I got to train somebody at 4.30 in the morning. Me and my kids and my husband, we go to bed. We got to get our son up for school in about an hour and a half. Then I got to get up um, about 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 10.30, 11 o'clock. Got to train two more ladies. Um, then I'm coming home. I'm cooking for my kids. Then they're gone. I'm back at Nike. I wasn't seeing my kids. I wasn't seeing my husband. It was putting a strain on my marriage. You know what I'm saying? I'm hustling. You know what I'm saying? And, and he's having my back, but I'm not giving him any time. So you got to imagine everything was just falling apart, but... But she, everything was just falling apart. So we decided to take off from work. Um, we was like, we're gonna give out. You know, we needed time. We actually was like, we're gonna go to counseling. We're gonna focus on getting this real estate up because it's not bad, you guys. The real, the property wasn't bad. We put ourselves on the town line. We're gonna get this real estate up. We're gonna get it done. You know what I'm saying? Then we're gonna by that time we're gonna come back to work do that thing. So, it was time for us to put our time in. You know, my husband put his time in, you know, let his manager know what's up. You know, I got a lot of stuff going on. Plus, we're going through things, you know, in that, you know, relationship. We just got a lot going on. We need time off to focus because y'all, my head's spinning right now. His head's spinning. We ain't getting no time. We got this property. You got to think I'm paying MLGW every month for this property. Shit. We got it in, like, I think we got it during the summertime. Here it is, like, we ain't having that about a month or two. Here it is, like, August, you know, and I'm paying, I'm I'm paying the light bills, paying all this, but every time it's time for me to, like, really, really get something major done, I can't be there. I can't be there to lock my property up at night. I can't be there to make sure everyone left off the property at night. I can't be there to ride past. I can't be there to be, like, 
this got done, that got nothing was getting done. You know what I'm saying? The person who's mentoring me, they have a million houses of their own. So they're mentoring me and helping me with mine, but they also have things on their own. If I'm not gonna give 100%, why should they? Right? We decided to take time off, y'all. Because, you know, why quit? You know, I've been here so long. Although, in my heart, y'all, I'm feeling like it's about to be a big change. Because y'all was telling everybody around me, y'all, I'm not going to be here long. You know, I just could feel it, y'all. I had been doing so good with my money. I was doing so well with my training. I had got the duplex. And we had already saved enough money, like, to live, like, for a year. I'm like, I'm not going to be here long. Especially with all this... Y'all, so much he said, she said, going on that motherfucking work, it don't make no sense. I working around a bunch of motherfuckers who gospel and got kids, like kids that's like old, old, and, and I, I was done. Like, I was so done with that shit. You know, I loved it. I think I liked it, uh, my job more so, than, more so than the people. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you can't get it. That's the thing. You can't get away from the people. You can't control who's over you, who's under you, anything. You're just hitting the clock and doing what a motherfucker say. Picking that car. Picking that car. You picking that car. You picking that car. You, pick, you better not say the wrong words. Your ass gonna be on phrase. You, you picking that car and motherfuckers talking. You grown as a motherfucker. You probably got more than them up top. But the motherfuckers talking. You crazy. You picking that car. You, I mean, I'm serious. That's how I felt in my heart. You know what I'm saying? So, when we took the six weeks off, my husband got approved. I didn't. You know, so many different reasons, y'all. Y'all, she was so crazy. Y'all, tell me you want to quit. My manager, manager, called me and told me he didn't have a problem with me leaving. It was his the person who was up under him, let's come in and talk about, I don't have a problem. I don't know why he has a problem with you leaving. So right there, I already put in your heart, man. It's a bad, you know, bad blood, bad, bad vibe. I'm 30. I'm too old for this. You know, if you don't, if you got a problem with me leaving, man up and say so. And tell me what. Instead, I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem. He does. He already told me. You do. He called me and told me, you do. Man up, you know, at that point, y'all, I'm 30. I got, like, two kids. I've been married for 10 years. I own my home. Um, We have two cars. I'm very happy where I'm at. I saved enough money for a year. We have a multi-family property. I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? That's why like, I'm like, I'm like, fuck it, I'm gone. I can't take it. I just feel like it was too much kid shit. I'm too old for that shit. <laughs> so I just was like, I told, you know, I'm not going to say that nice. I told my manager, not my manager on top of me, but my manager on top of him. I was like, um, I just, you know, I'm done. I don't have a heart for this no more. You know, I, I love my, I loved it, my job, but the people suck and people will mess up your, Man, people kill your vibe. People, the people suck. Now, most of them were great. Like, most, especially on the floor. They're like the pickers, like, in fact, like, they were great. But, like, some of those people suck so bad, y'all. It don't make no sense. And some of them people fall so hard to get to the top and don't even know they even at the top. You ain't even know boss because you, um, a boss don't have a boss. So, I just quit, y'all. I, I didn't give it a fight. You know, a job I had been in for almost 10 years, I didn't give it a fight. I'm not going to lie. I didn't give it a, I didn't even give it a second thought. But once I did do it, like, for two weeks straight, y'all, I was so sad, y'all. I was so sad because I was like, what am I going to do now? You know what I'm saying? I got this property, but I need to get up and do something every day, you know. I need to get up and have something to do every day. So I was really, really sad, and then I just had to throw myself into the entrepreneurship world and realize I'm on my own time, y'all. I do shit when it needs to be done, okay? Let me tell you about my week. Last week, I closed on a, 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 a land, a, a piece of land with land bank that was on a Tuesday, and that Thursday, I closed on a property. You know what I'm saying? And then this this Friday, I got to go get the lights. You know, my day is my day now. 
you know, I can get up, take my kids to school, and do me. You know what I'm saying? Since I left my job, I have learned so much, you know, about real estate. I have done so much in real estate, you guys. I did my first, first, like, bid with property, like, like. Real test the link with property. I did like a bid. I want a property out there, you guys. I just closed on a property last week. Um, I got four pending contracts on land, you guys. I have one of them of my own, one piece of land already of my own. You guys, I'm finna real good like be on some takeover shit. Yeah, I was putting like 110% into my job, going in there every day, being on tip top shape. I do that 110% to myself, y'all, and I be on my shit. When I tell y'all, I done did so much, learned so much, got so much, it don't make no sense, y'all. Like, we're going to be spending Christmas. Y'all going to see, y'all, my next vlog, we're going to have Christmas in Cali. Y'all, if y'all feel like y'all can't do it, you can do it. I'm telling you. It's mm, a text message. I just want to tell you, you know, if you're thinking about it, you can do it. Don't give up. Whatever. Put your, y'all, let's stop spending our, y'all, we are, us as African Americans, we are the consumers. Let's stop putting our money towards that bullshit. Ain't nothing wrong with buying clothes, shoes, cars, that, but make sure your pocket's right first. You know what I'm saying? Make sure... If they say right now we got to lay a hundred motherfuckers off and you be one of the ones laid off, make sure your kids can eat while you riding the motherfucking charges and shit. <laughs> I'm for real. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you straight. Us as black people, we ain't doing nothing making other, the other people rich because we don't make sure we good. We don't. We we buy our joys first, our jeans. Our we don't make sure we good. Yeah, my ass open. I'm good over here. <laughs> Shit, I'm good. Make sure you're good, y'all, for real. Us as black people, y'all, we got... Even if you're not going to be an entrepreneur, even if you're going to work for somebody else, get up in there and make sure you're good. We make a lot of fucking money, y'all. These folks spend us a lot of money. Even if it is to pick cotton, you can take that money and do something with it. Y'all, we take this money and give it right back to these folks. Put that money right back in their pocket. And I ain't just talking about the Nike people. I ain't just talking about the Amazon people. I'm just talking about us as black people. Oh, we make these folks rich, y'all. We are the fucking consumers. Ain't none of us buying no motherfucker. We got a lot of us. But let me stop. I'm not going to discredit everybody. We got a lot of us buying shit. But we got a lot of us buying bullshit. And then wondering why we on food stamps and shit for 20 and 30 years. That shit ain't cute. That shit, they feel like they didn't pay you back for slavery. <laughs> shit. Now I'm about to get on the whole night. Sorry, y'all. Thank you for watching.